All right, so this is my welding machine. It's an IX Global IET 200P. So this is the pedal you can buy, but I didn't like that one. I bought this one because this is much smaller and much better build quality. This one is a male. And this is the female connector, a five pin connector. So I have to resolder another connector on it. And here you have the diagram. This is the torch socket, three and five. Pin one, two, and four. So four goes into the middle, it's the variable. One goes to the zero, the other one goes to the max. So now we're gonna remove the connector. That's how it works. You have to turn and then pull. When you start soldering, you do solder on both sides. So here a little bit. Then we have to find out which one is actually the switch. So let's clean this a little bit up. And then we can see here the brown and the yellow are for the switch. Those come on three and five. So five is here. So it's over there. So there comes the yellow one or the brown one. Five is over there. So here I have some new solder socket. It's much easier if I have more space for soldering the wires. So I just grab a new one and I wrap this one around like so. And now I have much more space to solder the wires. So let's gonna do that now. First the yellow one. All right, so that's number five. Then we go to number three, it's over here. So here we have to find out the middle one, it's actually changing. Then we put the meter on resistance. All right, so here we have the crocodile clips. Then you can measure much easier. If I connect the green one and the blue one, it's moving. If I connect the green, the blue one and the black one, it's steady. And if I connect the green one and the black one, now we go to from zero to three. So the green is the middle. And then those two are the maximum and the lowest. So we have to solder the green one as the, the middle. So if I measure on the max and on the minus and I press the pedal, it doesn't do anything. And if I measure the green one and I measure this one, it's from max to low and the other green to the, um, the green and uh, the blue, it's going from low to max. So that's how we're gonna solder it. So pin number four is green. From zero to more, it's the black one. So the black one, the black one from zero to more resistance goes to one if I interpret this right. So the green one is connecting to number 
four, one, two, three, four, I'm knocking on your door, yeah, it's four. So it's right over there. Number four, and then the black goes on the one. One is here. Actually, this one goes a little bit different. One, two, Freddy's coming to get you. Three, four, better lock your door. soldered this one and I forgot to put this one on so I can desolder it all the way Let's see if I So, one of the switches for on and off. So now we're gonna test. So now we have the machine. We have the pedal here. Right here, it's not shorted anything so we're gonna plug it in here let's ramp up the amperage and now we can move with the pedal we can turn it on here All right, I did it in the first time. As you can see, it's now going up, 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 up. And the highest amperage I get now, it's 82. And this resistor won't go any further. So I can solder a resistor here for extra current, but I'm not gonna do it because I can move the current here as well up and I'm if I turn it fully up then it's 172 instead of 200 so I can do that but I don't think I'm gonna use full power so if I'm gonna need that one I can always do it later so as you can see this machine also has high frequency start if I do this Then you can see my lightning and it's very rapidly starting the, uh, the welding action. So I'm pretty happy now that I soldered this one very quick on it. And now I can just adjust the amperage. It's amazing. So I'm gonna finish the connector and then I'm done. Then I can use this welding machine with the pedal. We can close this up. Like so. Then we have to put 
tightening a little screw. Like so. And now we So, move it inside as far as I can, and then we're going to heat the rest. So remember, my trick is always first turn a little bit backwards, then you hear it ticking, and then turn faster. Alright, so here we have it. The new connector working with my welding machine. So like and subscribe if you want more content.